Yo guys, I'm Yellow, the Norwegian Hardcore PC Gamer, and today I figured that we should make a small video about how to bump up your frame rate once again. This is gonna be a little tip video in which the advice is gonna be small, and to some of you guys out there, this advice might not actually apply because you are getting so many frames per second with a expensive PC, you're not going to have any complaints. But when it comes down to me, for example, now knowing that my graphics card in my computer is the absolute weakest link, I really want to push everything as far as possible until until I finally upgrade. Um, so basically, I came to uh, remember that when I tried to play CSGO uh, on a very, very old computer, um, turning off NetGraph and the CL Show FPS actually benefited my frame rate. Now, the reason for this is because these uh, tools actually show you and thus pull information. They pull information from the game engine and give it to you straight. That is all good and dandy, but the issue is that they are actually then doing extra work and that is not good for your entire computer if you truly want to get the highest frame rate possible. And this is why, um, and especially CL Show F FPS, it shows you the map name and then your frame rate on the map, which is all good and, and fine. But the issue here too is that you can see that like it's trying to show me 300 FPS, but all my other frame rate counters I have all over the place, they show that that's not real, okay? So you can be pretty much discard this one if accuracy is something you value. Aside from it just being so turbo, you can barely see what it's trying to tell you. But what I also will tell you is that there's a lot of extra information around here that most likely, unless you're going to troubleshoot or you suspect your system to have some sort of problem uh, when it comes down to playing your game, uh, yeah, this stuff is not really gonna be too valu valuable and viable if you want to just play. And especially if you're sitting at 40, 50, 60, 70 FPS and you want your game to perform the very best. In that case, turn off your CL Show FPS and your net graph. Now, uh, top right, you can see that I have an alternate frame rate counter, and this is the built-in one in Steam, and I can show you how to do this, okay? So just get into your Steam overlay. Uh, normally, that would be Shift and Tab. If you haven't set it to something else, click on Settings here, and top right, you'll click on In-Game. Uh, In-Game FPS counter can be seen in the middle, and here I like to click on High Contrast Colors, and then I like to have mine top left normally. I just had it top right for, uh, for showcase. Now, I can just go into my console, turn off, show FPS and net graph and I'm good to go. Here we go. Everything is a lot more clean. Um, you guys can still see my overlay recording, but that is just for the sake of this recording. Uh, I'm using some new recording settings. Hopefully this looks pretty nice and dandy and whatnot. But aside from that though, yeah. Now you only have a polling rate of something that is like the average of one second uh, every time it shows you a frame rate. It can be a little bit uh, uh, inaccurate here and there, but it's fairly slim, takes no space, easy to see. Um, and it only does uh, the information pulling once every second. So while it have less accuracy, it's showing you how everything is working out. Now, the last thing some of you uh, people out there might be wondering about is how the hell do you access a console? So I'll just show that for the sake of the people that might ask about this. So go in and help and uh, options right here, keyboard and mouse, and at the very top, um, let's see here, where the hell was it? Okay, actually, it's all the way at the bottom. You have toggle console. Bind this to whatever the hell you want to, it to be at, just so just just remember like where it's at okay because this button you might want to use a lot and in game settings I think it was at the very top here enable developer console set that one to yes and you'll be good to go that's basically it and you can do everything I showed you right here you can test it out yourself but primarily remember that the lower spec your computer is the worse or older it is the more valuable this is going to be so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and hopefully this gave uh, some of the people out there with lesser computers in terms of their specs more frames here are two related videos if you want to get smarter or a lot better at CSGO uh, and if you really want to help out this channel I would recommend you guys to, to check out the Patreon page a lot of uh, nice rewards there if you want to help out thanks for watching have a nice day and don't get beastified when you play